the Intense M1. Oh, probably the coolest bike of all time. It kind of feels... Let alone game changer. It feels a bit to me like the iconic downhill bike that really changed things from the 90s, like, you know, a World Cup podium was absolutely full of these bikes and they weren't all labelled up as Intense. People would debadge their bikes and be sponsored by other brands and they'd stick their logos on this bike. People like the Athens, Road Intense M1s, uh, Greg Minar, and quite a few legit ones as well, people like Palmer and Lopes. Yeah, I mean, it's interesting to say about Minari, so he won his first World Champs on one, badged up as a Haro, I think. And, and it was actually probably the first legitimate downhill bike in an era when everyone was developing anything they could to try and a bit of an arms race, wasn't it? Exactly, they started off as McPherson Strut, but then moved to four bar, and that's really the that's one when it that came. took off. And like I say, uh, Kavarik won that Fort winning World Cup in 2002 by 14 seconds on this bike. Uh, pretty iconic. Yeah, he's also wearing a skin suit. No one said a thing about that. <laughs>